Hey everybody, it's Dr. Kara, and I am here with your monthly forecast for the month of September 2020. And um, I'm curious, I am very curious. Last month we had the whale and the hawk and the panda, and so it was a very kind of peaceful settling in kind of energy. Um, definitely a, a cocooning kind of an energy and checking out what our inner world had to offer us. And um, I hope it ended up being peaceful for you. I think there was a lot of energy around um, just self-reflection and, um, and really enjoying the simpler things in life and being present in the present moment. And I know that the circumstances around the world and um, certainly here where I am in California were um, a little more settled than they had been. There's still a lot of strife and conflict in the world, a lot of disagreement. But, um, you know, for my nuclear family, we, we really did kind of settle into the month of August. So um, it's been such an interesting, interesting year, right? <laughs> That's the, the Chinese blessing and the Chinese curse. May you live in interesting times. But um, it, it's been very, very unpredictable. And although we have the seasons of the year that kind of, um, you know, show us the flow of life, um, they haven't been the biggest factors in the energy of the forecasts this year. And so it's just been very, very interesting. And, and I keep going back to the January forecast where I was just so struck by the energy of, um, of upheaval and things turning upside down and structures crumbling. And um, a lot of that has come to pass. So it's, um, I just don't know what to expect next. I, mean, I guess we're all kind of in that boat. So um, I've been shuffling as I've been talking. These are my animal wisdom oracle cards. And for those of you who have been asking, um, I found a new publisher. And so they're gonna be more readily available, more regularly available. They're gonna have a slightly different design on the back, but the front will be the same, the energy will be the same. And I can't wait to update you with that when I have some solid information for you. But just know that um, these cards are coming and um, I would love to share them with you. So um, I, I'm feeling the top card, so snake. So snake to me is always about primal aliveness, how we're connected to the planet, how we're really tapping into our animal selves, our, um, our nature versus nurture. This is the nature, like just really, um, it re reminds me of that Mary Oliver poem, let the soft animal of your body want what it wants. So just tapping back into that, you're an organic being, you're a physical being. Of course, you're a divine being in a physical world and a physical body, but but just let yourself have that gift of wanting what you want and being aware of it. And that's, that's what snake really says to me in a general kind of way, just really tap into that primal animal nature that we all have and, and just really be yourself. Excuse me, my throat just got caught. Um, so snake is the first card. I'm just pulling the next card off the top of the deck. You guys get to see it before me and it's mountain lion. And mountain lion is really about being competent and taking care of yourself and being capable. Mountain lion to me is also a real sixth chakra animal um, because they're so smart, but they're also so intuitive and instinctive. So there's a really nice blend in the mountain lion of instincts and intuition and, and mental prowess and intellect. So that's card number two. And again, I'm feeling I'm just, you can kind of see how that top card just wants to come off. So I'm just going with that top card. You guys get to see it first and it is the bat. Um, and the bat, this is so interesting, these cards, because the bat is really about that collective consciousness and, and being part of that group energy and that group awareness and the group mind. I think of it in a really positive way. Um, but Bat told me that it, it can be um, kind of confining to always be seen and known and connected and not having your own space and your own time alone. And that's the lesson of the Bat. And that's 
the lesson that we're finding our, ourselves in in so many places around the world physically is we are at home with our families so much more probably than we ever have been <laughs> in our whole lives and so that challenge of finding your space to be yourself but to do it within the confines of your circumstances in the confines of your collective energy your social group whatever that is i think that's a really interesting um, card and a really interesting perspective on it Ultimately, the bat tells us or teaches us that the whole is greater than the sum of its parts. So even though we may feel limited when we're stuck inside with the same people 24 seven, um, there's a real beautiful synergy that happens with that collective energy of that group. And to me, um, this is a really positive outcome kind of card. This is really about remembering that we are part of something bigger, that we contribute to something bigger, that we can dream into something bigger and make something better happen. We have that power to create our reality. And when we come together to do that, the energy is more, right? The, the whole is greater than the sum of the parts. So it's multiplied. It's um, maybe not exponential, but it, it's increased by coming together. So I really think this um, September is a really good month for collective focus. So if you have um, a meditation group or a meditation focus or a shared vision for with anybody else for any part of your life or the for the planet, um, then this is a good time to really amplify that practice and to bring it into the forefront of your life so that um, we can all benefit from the collective energy, the collective vision, the collective consciousness. So um, that's the bat. So when we look at these three cards together, we've got snake and mountain lion and bat. This month of September is really about tapping into that vibrancy that's within us, that, that life force energy, that animal nature that is just what it is. It's not judging, it's not right or wrong, it's not striving, it's not trying. It's that beingness, it's that being in this present moment and, and trusting that this is enough and that you're enough. The second card, the mountain lion, is really bringing forward that's the link from that primal animal aliveness to that collective consciousness and part of something bigger because the mountain lion brings her formidable mental abilities and her instincts and her intuition all together in service to whatever her goal is. So she draws on all these different aspects of, of that sixth chakra of her mind, of her brain, of all of her intelligence of her whole body to create the life that she wants to create and that's what we can do we have that ability we have the mental we have the intellect we have the instinct because of the snake and we have the intuitive because we're hardwired that way so to me this is really a progression and a, um, almost like a recipe for like go within find out who you are at that just really primal deep level and then bring that vibrancy, that aliveness in, in, in partnership with your intellect, with your mental capacities, with your ability to visualize and to see and then collectively come together for that shared vision. So, um, you know, I, I think it would be super interesting if as a community we created a shared vision and we all contributed to it. So I'm not sure what that might look like. I'm just kind of talking right off the top of my head. I don't have a plan here. But um, if you feel called to come on over to the Animal Wisdom Insiders group on Facebook and let's start really creating an ideal scene for what we want to create collectively in the world and what those pieces would be. And we'll just put all of our contributions together into one vision and then maybe we'll do a a daily meditation on it or something give that vision some energy and 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 bring that collective energy to create the change that we want to see in the world but harness that that synergistic energy of bringing a bunch of individuals together with a shared vision and um, unharness that beautiful synergy of the amplification 
of that energy. So that is my forecast for September of 2020. Um, it's always a surprise. It's always interesting. I never know where we're going to go. But um, if you got some different messages from the animals and the cards, I would love to hear about it. So just put a note in the comments below about what snake and mountain lion and bat have to say to you. What's your vision for um, a new, improved, better future wherever you are on the planet? And how would you like to contribute to that greater vision? of um, what we can all create together. So um, I think that would be a, a powerful um, activity for us this month. So come on by, put a note in the comments and uh, come on over to Animal Wisdom Insiders on Facebook and let's have that conversation there. And let's not just talk about it, let's put it into action, let's really do it. Let's really put our focus on what we wanna create in the world and let's let that energy go and spread out because we are a global community and so we can touch every part of the planet and I just think that's really exciting so so let's do it so take the snake the mountain lion and the bat with you this month and go create some magic in your part of the woods your part of the world and I will look forward to hearing from you about it and I'll look forward to seeing you next time and for now have a beautiful month of September bye everybody